Hello, welcome to the Hatless Gaming Channel. Uh, I'll just call it that for now until I figure out the uh, uh, subtitles below. Anyways, today I got a video for you guys on an update. Uh, I've been discussing this all day with various people and I've heard many different opinions on it on both sides of the fence. Surprising there is actually two sides of the fence on this one. And... Um, I've been listening to CCP talk about on it and all that stuff. Uh, but I'm going to exclude opinions on this video. It's just going to be an update. What is the commotion? What is going on? What are the actual like facts presented so far? And then I'm also going to give you guys a couple sources in the description below to look deeper into this if you want to know more. Um, basically, I'm just going to read the, the notes here. I've been ready and presented for you guys. Uh, so Plex and Omega price update. Uh, Plex and Omega price changes. Uh, respected Capsulars is how they introduced this one. Uh, since EVE Online's original launch back in 03, together EVE developers and community have led the charge and involved in, in evolving what sandbox MMOs can be. The past 19 years have been amazing, have seen amazing events that have brought us closer together, delivered vast experiences and game changing, game changing features and enhancements. Seen careful rebalancing to bring the best quality of experience and welcome. Careful rebalancing, eh, and welcome to technology, eh, careful rebalancing to bring the best quality of experience and welcome technology updates that keep New Eden on the cutting edge on all services, maintaining Eve's status as the world's best MMO. I'm going to just say that this is self-proclaimed. Um, as much as I am a fan of Eve Online, that's a self proclaimant and I don't like it in announcements like this. Anyways, I, I digress. I'm trying to keep this down, my opinion out of this. Um... The tra tradition of continuous improvement to EVE is to set is set to continue the road to FanFest and beyond. With plans to make New New Eden and its community mightier than ever, as EVE moves closer to the third decade, adding even more value to your Omega subscription. To continue investing in EVE Online's, uh, EVE Online's evolution and growth, and to realize our mission of EVE forever, we're updating the price of all existing Omega and Plex. This adjustment reflects global trends and impacting general production costs and accounts uh, for years of inflation, amending the one-month USD subscription rate for the first time since 2004. These adjustments will have an impact on all other currencies. Uh, and starting May 17th, these new prices will be as follows. And we'll get into the numbers in just a second. Uh, there was a price change in 2017-2018 for Russians, and there was a price change for uh us in 2014 as well and i'm not sure exactly what the price changes are maybe somebody can post in the comments uh the exact price changes i know that they happened i just don't know exactly what they were somebody has sources for that i would gladly love to hear it uh anyways the new omega uh they added two new tiers for omega accounts they added a two month tier and a 24 month tier so a two-year subscription um and the prices are as follows. Uh, one month is going to be $20. Two months is going to be 36. Three months is 48. Six months is 87. Uh, 12 months is 150. And 24 months is 271. Um, is what they did. And we'll get into the math of this and what it means for you specifically uh, on the, the numbers. If that makes sense. Uh, Plex saw various uh, changes. Uh, it's quite broad and how the math gets kind of a little complicated here. Uh, but the Plex tiers have been entirely restructured, uh, offering several more options from 50 to 20,000 Plex. Uh, they start at 50 Plex for two and a half dollars, and they go all the way up to 2, uh, 20,000 Plex, but the 100 Plex is five dollars, is literally double the, the is per dollar ratio is the same all the way up to 500 Plex. So between 500 and uh, 50 Plex, uh, you're paying the same dollar value for each Plex. Uh, and then as you go below that, uh, the dollar per plex or the cent per plex uh, gets better as you go down. And I'll get into the math again um, once we get there. Uh, the new prices on Omega include all upcoming... The, this rubs me the wrong way. The new prices on Omega include all upcoming content releases for the game and have been structured to offer substantial savings when you purchase larger... Amounts of Plex and Omega Time. Players benefit from even bigger monthly savings between lower and upper Omega Time tiers. 
more Plex options to choose from, right down to the uh, right down to the economical fifty dollar Plex rating. I'm just gonna say that fifty dollar Plex is not that economical. I mean, it, it's the same as five hundred Plex, but it it's not econo economical when you consider the ratio of this one. Um, yeah, the economical fifty Plex. We're committed to bringing you the absolute best version of Eve Online and compelling future future for new eden we can't wait to meet up with you in person discuss this in detail in fan fest in just a few weeks uh there's a forum discussion here you uh you can click on this again i'll provide a link to this there is an entire discussion uh that ccp paragon did uh with uh a kind of a q a on this there's there's the reddit uh which i'll post a link to the reddit threads uh, or the, the main Reddit thread, I guess. The, the one that's the hottest right now, I'm sure, is what that is. Uh, Goons and a, uh, a friend of mine also produced a SoundCloud file of, uh, of, this of the CCP Paragon thing, which I will also link you to that. So you can listen to it as well. It's about 40 minutes long. I got the 38 minutes of it, and I was like, I wanted to make this video in one way, and after listening to it, I, I'm pissed. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm pissed. I know it's bleeding through in this and I'm trying to be as clear cut and true as possible without bringing my opinion into it. But anytime there's a price increase, it's bad. I don't believe that this is a good choice because we have, uh, a lot of players are going to unsub and I feel like keeping the model how it was would have yielded more dollars at the end of the day than keeping it, it as it is because more play more accounts will continue to be subbed. Anyways, here's my little spreadsheet I made. It's crap. I'm terrible at making spreadsheets. Um, but basically, I put in all those numbers and I did some math. Um, the important math is that the uh, price per month uh, is really important. And in the old model, uh, it was $15, $13, $12, and $11 per month. When you subscribe to each tier, you'd save a dollar per month. Is how it was modeled before. Uh, and then 24 didn't exist, so I wasn't able to do the math there. Uh, how the uh, new price per month is, it's $20 for the first month, uh, and then uh, two two months is $18, uh, three months is $16 per month, and then uh, six months is $14.5 per month, the 12 month is $12.5 per month, and then believe it or not, it's only $0.29 cents more per month when we compare it to the old price per month. That's something that I do want to know. If you buy the biggest package, which a lot of people do, the people that play this game consistently and for a long time, they do buy these big packages. I have bought this one times six before. I probably won't do it again, but I have bought this one before for six of my accounts. Um, and it, it, it was because it was on sale. I had like a 30% uh, off sale or something. So it ended up being like $8 per account. I did the math and I was like, oh my God, here, grab it. Um, anyways, it's only 20 cents more per account, uh, for the biggest package then compared to the biggest package now. So I'm not terribly irked with the, the fact that you save more, the longer you buy is slightly better than it was before. Uh, and the, 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 the savings for extending time is better than it was before, but it's still more expensive per month. Like you're still paying a cost increase, uh, if that makes sense. Uh, but the, the cost differences for the various tiers that we can compare are 33% increase for a month, 23% increase for three months, a 20% increase for six months, and a 13% increase for 12 months. And then the 24 month is in line with what it what the 12 month was before. So if you bought 24 months before, uh, it would be this times two. I, I guess we could just math this. Uh, it's this times two, so it'd be 130 or 164 or 264. 264 would be the old price. I uh, don't know if we were to compare that. Uh, I think if I just go like that, it'll math it out. Oh no, I broke the math. Oh, did I really break the? Oh no, I need to do old price. Oh, old price per month, so it'd be 264, it'd be 11. I should fix the math. Uh, it's a 2% increase uh, if we were to pur purchase two years. Uh, if we did the one year twice, uh, we're seeing a 2% increase at that two-year mark. Is the best way to do it. It, it, it. It's the closest I can get on that math. Um, the For Plex, it gets a little bit more complicated because they have different rates. 
Um, but I did the best I can. Uh, the the plex per or the the cost per unit is between it is around four cents up to one thousand units of plex or yeah it's about four thousand four cents per plex uh, out to um, out to five hundred plex and we see a twenty percent increase in that uh, ratio so it's going up by about twenty percent. This math didn't end up working. Uh, I'm not sure how this ended up being a 2% or 9% increase when we compared this, but it's. I, I'm just going to ignore this. Uh, we have a 19% increase in cost uh, for roughly the 1000 mark, a 16% increase in cost per plex at the uh, roughly $125 mark, which is 3000 or 2800 plex, a 16% cost increase, a 15% cost increase for the. Uh, 7,400 to 6,000 bundle plex and a 7% cost increase for the bigger, the current biggest bundle. Uh, and I suppose we can double this one and, and do the math again the same way, um, which would probably end up being the same thing. But the, these are the price increases by percentage. Uh, and I feel like it's something that would be useful for you guys to know. And I feel it's helpful for you to make your own decision. Go consume this content. Go read on the things. Go... Talk to your friends. Talk to the people playing the game with you. Don't just live in a rabbit hole. Uh, talk to the people and uh, talk to your friends. Talk talk to the people you play the game with. Read the forums. Listen to the SoundCloud that I post in the description. Form your own opinion on this. As much as I am angry or mad, I would hate to see somebody... Uh, that just listens to what I have to say and then goes off and gets on a big old rant and get angry. I'm personally angry because it, it will mean a drop in... I, I, I perceive this... So we're going firm into my opinion. I perceive this is going to cost CCP more than it makes them. That's how I am perceiving this. And I feel like it was a bonehead move on their part. Um, my, th that's my first initial. I went right into the EVE Online Partner Discord and I said, this is a bonehead move. You fucking idiots. Sorry about the swear. There's one swear in this. I'm going to put it in the YouTube thing. But um, I don't think it was a good move on CCP's part. I I think that they could have kept the price the same, uh, much like Arizona Price Tea. Or Arizona Tea uh, in the United States it has a reputation for being a dollar for a can. Uh, and it has been that way as long as I can remember. And because it's been that way as long as I can remember, they have this kind of... Um, because they have their age and they've maintained the same price, they, they, they have this status and this reputation that they have. And I feel like reputation is more valuable than money. And I understand that they need to make more money and they have demand to make more money. But I, I also don't think that this is the right way to do it. People will pay money for cat ears. That's all I'm going to say. We, we want more skins. We, we want more things to buy from them that, that don't affect the actual gameplay. Uh, skins, sound bites, it, it, things like that would be fantastic. Um, I personally would pay for a different hull alarm. I'm just saying. It's an idea. And the timing of this is terrible in the middle of an economic crisis. And the way that people think we're going to get into economics now. But the way the world market is right now. Everybody's pinching pennies at the moment. And when somebody has something that they can optionally drop off the table in their budget, they're going to drop the, you know, the, the thing that they don't need. And EVE Online is a want, not a need. And so, therefore, increasing the price is going to drop off a percentage of players just on that. And then we have the, the whole entire, uh, not if I can't afford it, but on principle thing. Me, personally, I don't know how this is actually going to affect me and how it's going to affect my behavior. Um, I am in, uh, my initial reaction was I'm going to not resub any of my accounts, uh, cause I am currently a free to play player. I do not pay for the game, uh, with my wallet at all. Uh, I pay for my game by grinding for ISK sell, and then buying Plex. Um, and it may make it harder for me to do that grind. And I don't mind a difficult grind in a game. And I actually appreciate that. So I, for me, it's weird. It, it puts me in a really weird place. Um, and I, I do want to encourage you guys that if you are going to vote on this, to vote with your wallets. Uh, this is one of those unsub or, or, or kind of things that makes sense. Um, but do 
definitely take in all of the information and take in all the sides of the, the coin before you uh, have a, a strong reaction. Um, I'm personally probably going to continue playing as I enjoy EVE Online quite a bit. I don't know if I'm going to continue maintaining a total of 11 accounts because that's where I'm at right now. I do maintain 11 accounts, uh, some of them from you guys using my invite code and also some of them uh, from being an EVE Online partner. I do maintain 11 accounts. I don't know if I'm going to drop that down to like four or five because that's what I get for completely free for being a content creator and, and all that. Um, and I don't know if I am going to continue maintaining 11. Uh, we'll have to see what happens uh, it, with me and my personal involvement in the game. Uh, but I'm not sure exactly what I want to do at this time. And I would love to hear uh, what you guys have to say in the comments. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you dislike this video and just want to hit the dislike button because you're angry at something uh and 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 if you don't like this change and you hit the dislike button because you don't like this change make sure you comment that i hit the dislike button because i don't like this change uh as well uh thumbs up and thumbs down are good for the youtube algorithm as well as comments and it helps me out a ton uh in continuing to make videos it makes my past videos more likely to be uh, rewarded or more likely to be recommended and uh, interacting with it just helps the entire algorithm in insane ways. I do appreciate all your guys' support and uh, until next time, make sure you guys fly fun and continue enjoying your time in EVE Online and bringing each other up.